Welcome back to the Mercedes-Benz Kiteboard European Championship for another exciting day of racing action. As we enter day three of the event, the forecast is looking promising with sunny skies and winds blowing up to 14 knots on the water. Four more races were held today, but once again, no one was matched for young gun Oliver Bridge. Taking the win by a long shot in every race, he has steadily increased the total score differential to 22 points between the first and second place. Going above and beyond all expectations, his flawless performance here has established him as the most formidable opponent out on the water, and his path to victory is looking more and more clear. So it's the fight for second and third place that is still up in the air. With scores tight, all eyes are focused on the deadly trio of Florian Gruber, Blazai Olzog, and Alejandro Clement. I make two second places in the two races of the day. I have now one discard more, so I have three points of advantage. The wind is picking up. Let's see what happens now. After 12 races, Clement and Gruber are tied at 32 points, but with Ozog just five points behind, there's still no indication of who may triumph. I'm going to need to really take care of, of Florian and Alejandro. I need to look at them and see where they are going and try to block them and, you know, be, be in front of them. That's, that's the main goal. I just have to sail clear and fast and watch out for them. It's going to be a really tough fight. On the women's side, Elena Kalanina continued on her winning streak. Defending champion Agar Grzymska and Anastasia Okapova trail her in second and third place respectively, but it's unlikely at this point that they will be able to pull off a first place podium spot. This year it's extremely tight. We uh, race all together and it's really exciting and challenging. All the girls uh, have better level each year and I hope it stays like this. Today also marked the start of the foil competition. Many of the Formula riders, including Florian Gruber and Oliver Bridge, joined in on the races. After four long races, it was Oliver Bridge who once again came out victorious. I was going well today, actually, better than yesterday and the day before, so I managed to get ahead and stay ahead, which was really good. But I'm pretty confident on the formula, but yeah, see what happens in the foil. I've got to go for another race in a minute, so it should be good. The forecast for tomorrow is calling for the strongest winds yet of the week. Can Ali pull off another no-hitter in more extreme weather conditions? Stay tuned to the Mercedes-Benz Kiteboard European Championship to find out.